Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video, as you saw by the title, we'll be playing with some new makeup. I'm so freaking excited. Um, we'll talk, we'll talk. First, if you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. Um, first, <laughs> real quick, if you guys can hear the bird chirping, um, sorry, I just had to turn, like, I had to get really close to, long story short, the lighting was better with the door open. Um, I have, like, a little screen door, but it still, like, leaves a little bit more room, so I'm sorry, but it's okay. We love the nature, we love the warmth. Today's gonna be, like, 70-something degrees, and I'm pumped. <laughs> I love summer. So, um, this is honestly, it's like majority like drugstore affordable makeup. We have a couple high-end products that I'm going to use. So that's why I didn't make this like a full drugstore makeup, um, kind of video. These products are also a little bit like, they're not completely, not super new. They're new er but they're not like the newest um so it's okay like i feel like all of you will be fine with that um but you know jumping on the train late it's okay per usual first we're gonna jump in this is the nyx professional plump right back uh plumping serum primer so i have used this technically twice you guys haven't seen it though because i had it was the craziest day of my life. I had, so I sat down to film, realized I needed to film something else. So I took off all my makeup, filmed the second video, realized I didn't need that second video. So that video's in the um, trash can. <laughs> um, and so this was just like, hello? Hello. So <laughs> we're gonna go with it today. I feel like I didn't really get a good vibe of it anyway, just because it was a mess that day. Um, but it's really cool. This primer, NYX primers are expensive. They're like $17, so pretty close to 20. Um, and that's like, to me, that's a lot. That's a lot for me, considering like certain high-end primers are like 24, you know? So it's like a bit dramatic, but that's always NYX. Um, they do have some really banger products. So, you know, if that's the way to go, then, um, you know, then NYX is your gal. Um, this is, I, it's really nice. I really do like it. It is has a little bit of a tackiness to it, but I like it because... I don't know how to explain it. Like, I feel like my face does look awake and nice and fresh. The, I feel like the reason why I like it was be, is because the, um, the point of it is not just the tackiness, you know? Like, the, the, the other ones that you try are just, like, more, they just want to make your makeup last longer. For me, I want something that makes my makeup look juicy, glowy, like, fabulous and, like, uh, alive. Plus, make me make a blast longer. So I think that this has the right thing going for it. It's really, really pretty. Um, you can get a mini as well if you want to try the mini. I'm just going to let that sink for a little bit while we talk about the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. Um, I tried this two years ago, and you guys, like, literally, that has, like, I think it was, like, 12K. It has, like, an obscene amount of views that I'm like, bro, where are you all at? Is they just watch this video, and that's it. And I'm like, what the heck? I mean, it's a horrible, horrible video. From two years ago, I was just, like, so, like, dull and, like, and it's crazy, but, like, you guys love it, so whatever. Anyway, I wanted to give this a go again. Maybe I'll do another video for it if you guys want to see it, but, like, I feel like it was just too hard to film this and then, you know, I honestly expect it to not have as many views anyway. So, I was like, I will just pop it in here. Um, I have the shade number 27 this time. Um, I think last time I had, like, 25. Um, I remember I loved it. I used the whole thing up, so it's not like it's a bad product or anything like that. It was just that, like, that video is horrible. <laughs> But I did do, like, a wear test with it and all that kind of stuff. Like, it's really a great video. <laughs> now, this can, this costs, like, between, um, like, depending on your shade, which really is irritating, but depending on your shade for real, you can pay, like, $12 to, like, $20. And I was like, what? There are, like, some sets, like, you could buy two for, like, $25 or something like that, which is really good. But, like, some shades were, like, $14 and other shades were, like, eleven fifteen. And I was like, hmm, okay, well, I want to be that shade. This is a little light for me, but it's not gray. <laughs> so the last one I had was literally gray toned, and um, luckily this one is not gray. It's just a little light, which is okay if you use some bronzer, anything like that. It does have coverage, which is what I remember um, people really liked about it, is it had that, this was one of the, not the first, but yeah, one of the first to like really, really master the idea that you can have coverage and still be skin-like, um, because one of the first finds, I should say. Um, because it was like, this is not easy to get. It's from, you can get it from Amazon, um, is where most people get it from. And like, that's out of the way, but people loved it so much because it did that so well. It had nice coverage, but it looks so beautiful and skin-like and just melted into your skin. So, um, Jessica Braun put me onto this one. 
There's a little light crap. Oh my gosh. I just think I'm being like. I always think I'm picking like right, and then it's like, girl. All right, whatever. It looks good. I think it applied really nicely over the primer as well. Like I don't feel like it was um, like sticking anywhere weird or like patchy, which is really nice. So um, I like the combination. My skin looks like youthful and glowy, and I'm about it. All right, let's go in with a crazy product. This I am scared because it's actually gonna be it might be a little dark, but we're gonna use it anyway. This is the KVD lightweight full coverage concealer. <laughs> I have the shade Tan 161. I figured this would be my best option for like the summer months at least. Um, so it's a little tan, I think, a little dark right now. These are this was so hard to pick my shade for though because the pictures like and the colors of it don't look like they match, and I'm like I don't know what to tell you. Um, so we're going to go in, the doe foot is so cool, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Um, I will be doing a video soon of some YouTubers' favorites. I don't know if you guys can tell by some of these products. The primer is one of them, this is another one of them. Um, but I wanted to get a couple more products because these are the ones that they've been talking about recently. And so I was like, let's just, let's just try it. <laughs> this is way too dark for this um, foundation, but I won't make it work. Wow, that blended so easy. I'm just gonna put it on top of my eye. <gasps> wow. Okay. I was really just expecting it to be a mess. Honestly, I was just like, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way, but honestly, I like it. I like it. I feel like, like more of the I don't mind having so too much coverage underneath the eye. I feel like I don't love like a full coverage on the on the face, but like under the eye, I don't mind too much um, if it looks really really good. If it starts to look crepey and dry, then I'm like, oh no way. But if it looks good, then it's fine, you know. Maybe so, I'm hoping some powder will even everything out. But it looks <laughs> so nice. It was so lightweight. It was so easy to blend out. So all the claims you've heard, they're true. I mean, like. You know, if you haven't taken anyone else's opinion, why are you going to take mine? But if you needed to hear it a fifth time, it's good. <laughs> it's good. I didn't realize I didn't pull a loose powder, so um, I'm just going to go in with one really quick. Everything I use that is not, like, featured in this video um, will be down below, of course, per usual. Well, now I'm just going to talk about it because it looks so good. The Huda Beauty, I use the Huda Beauty um, Easy Bake, whatever, in the shade Sugar Cookie. And this combination. <gasps> I look like so smooth and flawless. I live. I live. Stunning. Stunning. Alright, so next, it's gonna do some like cream bronzers and stuff, but I really wanna see how this performs on my foundation and not so much on top of cream products because. Whatever, I want to see the oh natural as oh natural as possible. So this is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation. I got the shade Light 28 Neutral. I am, I don't like freaking tinted powders. I mean colored powders. I like something translucent because I have the hardest time. Usually if I get something that's more medium and stuff like that, it's too dark for me. So I got one with light. Um, okay, it does have a little puff here. Um, I've heard such great things about this. Again, this is another part of the YouTubers, so... Guess. Guess what YouTube I'm doing next. Um, I I've told you, so if you pay attention, you know. But <laughs> um, here it is here. It looks like a nice shade, honestly. So I'm glad that I went with this one. Um, should we use the little puff guy? Usually people who like do this, like they wear it on top they wear it on top of primer, not so much on top of foundation. But I wanna just see what's going on here. I use powder foundation like I just use setting powder normally, but um, I wanted to see the whole puff situation. Can you tell the difference? It definitely mattified. You can see there's a lot like more shine on this side, not so much on this side, which is totally fine with me. Um, Cause I like to add the blue glow back with some setting sprays and stuff. I don't need it too, too, too glowy. And obviously it's the camo. Like what could you expect? Like obviously I expected it to be a little bit more matte in setting. I honestly think the, this guy is um, easy to use. It just like kind of pets in there. It's definitely one if you have like more oily skin. Um, it's nice to like just be able to pat it and pat it on. Um, so I don't have oily skin, but 
I really like it. It still left a little bit of the glow um, underneath my skin. I put on a lot, obviously, of glowy thing. I always do, always will. So obviously there's that, but honestly, I think the camera's picking up a little bit more glow from the sunlight anyway, because in person, it doesn't even look glowy. This side is like juicy still, and this side is like matte. I like it. <laughs> I'm not a Mac girl in general, but um, I do really like the way this looks because it does not look flat at all. It looks like my makeup set and I'm going to Disney soon and I need my makeup to be set. <laughs> I need it to not move. I'm just going to go in with a brush on this side and see what happens. This is a more dense one. Our initial, um, instantly it all was powdering everywhere, but it's okay. Um, but I usually use a fluffier one, but it's okay. All my brushes are dirty. My nose is doing such weird things and I just kind of ignore it, honestly. Yeah, I would definitely just use a brush just because um, I don't need it as intense as the powder puff goes. But if you're someone who needs it more intense, definitely use the powder um, puff. But I do like it. I'm impressed. I do like it. It's going to be a good video, huh? Did I just jinx it for myself or are all the other products going to go downhill really fast? Okay. A bug, a bug. I don't know what that is, but I'm okay. All right, I'm gonna do some products and then I'll be right back um, for the fun stuff. I feel like I can never go like through a video that's about certain products and not talk about the other products I'm using. Um, but I just use like this Lawless blush and I just am so obsessed. It is so gorgeous. I want more of those blushes. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention, technically this is still, like, I'm still testing it. Um, it's the Say, like, highlighter thing. I like this a lot. I really love the way it looks. I just think that, like, you can't, this is something that you really want to put on top of creams. Um, the problem I had is, like, if it will have, is that, like, I always set my face. So, like, I'll put on creams and set my face and this will be too, like, dull. So it's something probably, like, you know, wear, like, to the beach or something, like, with Au Naturale no makeup that kind of stuff or like just foundation or something like that without setting it um that would be nice because like i put it on my nose i don't know if you can tell but i put it on my nose and it just literally was like started to separate and i was like what the heck and then where i put it before i like re like fix my blush it was like picking up the blush underneath um i've tried it with a sponge with my fingers like i don't know what on top of powders will make this look nice but i mean it did it turned it out looking really beautiful it's just like getting it there is very finicky so i don't know still testing trying whatever just wanted to mention that quickly excuse me all right so i just like filled in my brows a little bit we're gonna go with another exciting product this is the nyx um lift and snatch brow tint pen in the shade espresso i'm so excited to try this i love my abh one i've tried milani's one of my milani ones i loved it so much that like my sister was like i need one of these and i was like here you know just take it because it's that good i trust it that much um i love a lot of i like i love these a lot i just tried the perfusion one i really love them so i'm was really excited to try this because one of my favorite youtubers here raves raves and raves and raves about this so i was less like come on this is another like pricier the other ones are um all the other ones are kind of like under ten dollars so um you know they're they're not the one that like the one from essence i mean sorry from profusion is like seven dollars abh obviously is, is expensive but that's high end um this one is eleven dollars so to me it was just like a little eleven twelve i think depending on where you get it um to me this is like a little too much and so um I was just like, ooh, skeptical, that's why I haven't bought it. Um, but I did get it this time. So we're gonna try it. Ooh. Ooh, I like it, I like it. Um, these things to me are like, I'm not super picky with them, um, but they really just have to make my brows easy. I don't want it to apply too much product. Um, I don't want it to not apply enough. This was super, the best combination, honestly, I've tried. One of the best, com better combinations where I don't feel like I'm drawing so many hairs. That was really quick. It was really quick, so I just kind of did do, 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 and then we were good to go. So I really like this a lot. Um, super, super easy. And my brows definitely have the effect that I like. Let me know, would you guys be interested in me doing a full face of NYX? Um, again, it's more expensive brand, so it's kind of hit or miss. I do have some favorites from NYX, like their concealer is really good. Um, 
yeah i've tried a couple other things that i do enjoy um so i don't know let me know would you be interested in it should i do it it's expensive but should i do it i'm gonna do something normally i would never do but i'm gonna take this blush and i'm just gonna put it in my crease a little bit i mean like you guys don't care that much but i'm just gonna give my eyes a little something something because i don't feel like doing anything to my eyes I'm trying to convince myself I don't need the new Jaclyn Cosmetics eyeshadow palette right now. Right now. Because I honestly am not wearing eyeshadow that much. If I am, it's like this. I'm wearing two, like, two shadows and that's it. So I don't need a whole nother palette. Like, I feel like it's something that um, I'm going to do, like, a, a video, <laughs> like, my birthday wish list. Something that, like, if my friends want to get me or if I get, like, a, a coupon or something, then I'll get it. But, like, I don't need it right now. It's not something, like, I need, need trying to tell myself that all right next we're gonna go in well no no i have a couple more products um with this is the new elf lash beats defining and lengthening mascara i did not know ulta did not sell this i was looking for a price i think it's only like six dollars but ulta doesn't sell this they do have it at like target on elf.com that kind of stuff um but elf came out with like three new mascaras like back to back to back um and they got better everyone um so i wanted to try this one this was the third one so i'm like hopefully this is the one for me um i'm my mascara collection i've said this in like every video but it's struggling so this is the wand it looks promising okay it definitely has like little fibers in it so that's what it's adding to my lashes but so far i like it i think like definitely if it dries out a little bit um I'll like it a little bit more, but it has that oh natural girly wispy lash that's beautiful and that like, you know, it's going back to the basics, nothing too dramatic, it's not dry, it's not, you know, like trying to do crazy things, so I really like it. I did also just order the freaking um, Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara because um, Jessica Braun, she's not the one I'm doing right now, the, not the YouTuber I was talking about, but Jessica Braun talked about it. She said she really liked it, but not for the, like, she was like, but it dries out so fast, you know, for the price. And then she was like, well, it's on sale. And I said, oh, of course it is. So I picked it up. I think it was like, how was it half off? Or like something percent off. It was like $16 and it's originally like almost 30, like 28. So I was like, ooh, gotta pick it up. All right, Elf, this is the one. This is the Elf mascara for me. I really like it. I really do like it. Mm -hmm. And I think once it dries out more, um, it's obviously a more, it says defining and um, lengthening. So once it dries out a little more, I think it'll be a little bit more volumizing just because of the dryness. Um, and so I like that. And if I want it to be more curling, I probably could just curl my lashes quick, um, which I've been doing way, way more. So, okay, oh, okay. I'm about it. It's another thing too is that like depending on the eyeshadow you wear, the e.l.f. Uh, I'm sorry, mascaras really like change their um, how they how it looks and like so sometimes the mascara is nice and when you wear no eyeshadow and then when you wear eyeshadow it's like you can't see your, your lashes. It's so bad. You guys know the product. You know the products. You do. Alright. Next we're gonna go in, this is the Urban K All Nighter. Um, I've tried this before, but this is just one that like, I haven't tried in a really long time. This is, um, I really like this. I just feel like, you know, like, the even the Charlotte Tilbury, like to me, it gives a more like, um, skin-like kind of finish. Like it's not just setting your makeup, it's kind of um, also like, you know, melting it into the skin, of course. It's also kind of like melting the makeup into the skin, um, whereas this one I feel like it just like dries your makeup out a little bit. Um, it does make it last longer, but it's not as like, you know, luminous. Like my one size preserve the serve is like the love of my life. True love of my life. All right, next we're going in with another product that I've never tried. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner. Have you figured out which YouTuber's coming up next? Because this is another one of them. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, I think I'm going to make that like a series on my channel, like once every few months, kind of do like testing out a YouTuber's favorite because it does take me a while. Um, the reason why it kind of started though was because I had a lot of the products already and I was like, wait, this person made me buy this. And so it's cool to see. And so I just like, like Jessica Braun just made me buy the <laughs> Upswing Mascara, which she also made me actually, she actually was the reason why I picked this up too. So it'll be cool to do hers and kind of see what products I bought on her recommendations, you know? Um, but then also the new ones that I just was like, ooh, you're talking about this a lot. I think I need it, you know? Um, but this is the, in the shade Rosewood. I've yet to try it. Oh, crap. 
Okay, it actually looks pretty. <laughs> I was gonna say like, this is not the color for me, which is not, it's not what I'm gonna be wearing a lot, but it's cute, it's unique, it's a little bit more um, out there. I thought rosewood would be a little bit more rosewood, um, or like a little bit more mauve at least, this is like straight up purple, um, but like whatever, I guess. Um, then we're gonna go with the Makeup by Mario lip gloss in the shade um, Mauve Nude. I've tried this already, I don't know why I just told you like I've never tried it before. I thought it'd be nice though. So. Ugh! Yes. Now this combination. Ugh! Stunning. Alright guys, that is it for this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it again like all these products are so exciting I am so excited to keep playing with them testing them that kind of stuff. Let me know. Have you tried any of these products? Um, do you have a favorite one of these? I know so many people are talking about the NYX the elf the KVD like so I know some of these products people are just like raving about um, but You know is it is it really that good? Is it really that good? Is it worth all the hype? I think so far all these are worth a lot of their hype. Let me just do something because they're falling a little bit. Um, I don't do these videos so often, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and yes, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. I forgot to mention, though, I don't know why I forgot to mention, my friend bought me this. Uh, so I didn't pay $17 for it. Um, my friend actually got it for me, and we did, like, Easter basket, Easter basket exchanges. And she got this and a couple other things for me, but... Um, I didn't buy this. I felt like I should mention that. I love her so much. So she's the real one. She buys me all my favorite primers. Honestly, I have so many favorites that she bought me. And I love it. Um, so I was really excited. Just, just to mention. Alright, now that's it. Bye guys.